okay this is another um, tutorial for the master site plan if you have uh, multiple uh, site building and you have a master site plan so I'm, so this is the master site plan Revit model and all this building A1, B1, I1, and M1 is an, a, a site a central file also for a specific building. So you have multiple building in this example. How I'll show you how to uh, get all the coordinates from master site plan going to the building A1, B1, I1, and M1. Okay, and also the other way around from building A1 to master site plan. So the main uh, goal here is to to get the master site co coordinate to building A1. So when the when you open the A1, uh, automatically the master site plan will reorient or automatically orient the. Uh, coordinates or the location when you specify it in the master site plan I don't know how. <laughs> anyway let's do it now okay so in here this is the master site plan I'm going to link now the building a1 a1 b1 i1 and m1 okay so I'll start with a1 link It will take some time okay <coughs> select the a1 let's, let's try origin to origin center to center so it depends on you so let's try origin to origin so you can see it here uh, site I uh, see here so this is the a1 so this is a, a fresh start so the shared coordinate there's no shared coordinate internal zero it's just internal okay now this a1 should in this should be in the site one platform location so we will align this one because this is the our master site plan it should be in this um, grid x y and z then align it a so you align the grid now then the next one is the level okay where is it here so you can see it's in below so the master site plan is saying that the platform a or site site one this is our site one so level zero this should be here so you align this one and in here so that's now in correct location if I turn shaded yeah so that's exactly in the one okay and then go to 3d and so on okay so same with the um, uh, another site plat platform 2 again let's uh, link So let's select the building A1. So origin to origin or center to center, it depends on you. Okay, if I select the wireframe, it actually it's here. Going back to here, you align again. Line to 2, then to B. Okay. Then go to the south elevation and check the level. So this is the level one. Align again this one to level one. So again, you have now align your building A and building I in the master plan correct orientation. So let's continue with the, the last 
platform tree. Okay, you know, once all the link central site model is aligned, select the building in. In your right side corner, you have the here shared site. Select shared site. And then you can either directly reconcile the coordinate published to the building A, or you can chase it so that you can uh, specify what is the platform of that building A located. So we can duplicate. So I was put here site. site one okay okay then reconcile and this one also select same process change duplicate site two and press okay okay and this one again also similar procedure and duplicate site tree okay and this one you can delete delete okay okay and this one this one change delete this one site 2 okay okay so there are two ways do two process to save uh, publish the site uh, the master site coordinate to the each building or each link this one and this one you can either go here manage manage link and you can see here this one save position if you select this one you have the checkbox here can either select this one and then one by one save save position then select save position or you can just directly save the um, master site plan and it will ask you to save all the position back to the link so I save this one save because we have three save okay and then save again now your building A has acquired the site master plan. So when I when we close this one and then open the site uh, the building A, well go here building A1 open and unload okay. So this is our building A. Um, now we're ready to link this master site plan insert link Now master site plan. You can there center to center open. Okay, close. We can link also the in the building A, we can link the master plan and also we can link the building B, uh, sorry, building I. So I1, select this one and then select the shared coordinates, open. And then you have the inside to select, it will go directly there. So this is our building A, this is not the link one, this is actual central file of building A. And this is our link I. The same with the building um, M. 
if I link this one. Select M, M1. Maybe I just select center to center. Okay. You can see here it's not in the correct orientation, but if I select the link and then select the shared site and then change to site 3 and press OK, it will go. To that correct location what happened site 3 okay um, ah okay enter now one I don't know what happened anyway uh, yeah so that's it so we we close this this one save what do you want save then you push me back to the link mm -hmm. they're not saved close Okay, we open again the master site plan. This one open. What happened? Okay, reload. Okay, so you can also copy, for example, this A, this link, copy, place it here. As you can see, the shared site is now not uh, selected. If you select the A, a site one, so I can move this one to. I don't know. Change. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Change this one. South Project North. Maybe I want to align it here. And it change, and then I will select this one. I will create change duplicate um, site three a one a one. Okay, and press okay. So there you go. What if I change this one to in use? Ah, you cannot use the same setting there now. Mm -hmm. So now this is to link. As you can see, filter to selected links. Select again. Internal select change to 3A. Okay, that's the 